Hey Capricorns, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Cap. Hey you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, Capricorn, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, for their love life, what do they need to hear and know for their love life? Capricorns, okay, the cards are falling out already. Already, Ten of Wands, Page of Cups fell out, and Eight of Cups. Ooh, someone is, I feel like someone could be overworked right now. For some of you, someone wants to apologize for just being burdened, overwhelmed. You know, they, they're wishing they could talk to you. They could be working a whole lot. For some of you, this could be someone at a distance. I do see the eight of cups here that could represent distance for some of you. But for others of you, I feel like this person is feeling burdened because they want to talk to you or they're wishing they could talk to you more with the Page of Cups. They have just a little bit of a cup with the Page of Cups. It's always a small cup. So little communication could come in. You could have your back to this person for some of you. Okay. Or some of you, I feel you're just about over this person. Not completely, but you're just about over this person is what I'm feeling, okay? Yeah, Nine of Cups. Someone is desiring this. Wow, Ace of Cups. Lots of emotions here with this person. They could be overthinking this situation. Remember, vice versa, this could be you or your person's energy that I'm picking up. So the stories could be flipped or reversed. Put the characters where they go. But someone is wanting to offer that full cup of love, Ace of Cups. But right now, it's like they're tiptoeing behind you. Okay, so let's get into it. What is this? In okay, the cards are flying out. Seven of Cups now. Two of Cups in reverse. And King of Cups in reverse. Whoa. Someone has so much to say and they're not saying it. <clears throat> They're not saying it, Capricorn. What is the deal here? Two of Cups is in reverse. This is definitely a soulmate. Someone who you felt was a soulmate or who is a soulmate. Okay? They're not expressing their emotions. They're, for them as well, their emotions could be all over the place with the Seven of Cups. Someone could be stuck in fantasy as well. Let me let me put these cards over here because this is a lot of emotions, okay, that are not being expressed here. Someone is not expressing their emotions. <clears throat> could be you. It could be you just like fed up and you're like, okay, I'm just not going to talk because there's a bro bunch of like <clears throat> broken cups here and spilt cups behind the the man in the eight of cups and it's like you know what i'm i'm looking out to the horizon what else is there you know i i've dealt with this long enough oh okay show me the ten of wands empress whoa the sun leo's energy and the four of swords yeah i feel like someone's been thinking about this a lot Maybe after a break or there's been some type of break up or pause here. What are they thinking about here with the four swords? Tower, kaboom. Could be a Scorpio, Leo's energy, and Taurus, Libra with the Empress. The moon, Cancerian energy. Yeah, someone is exploding with all these emotions. They're realizing all of this about you. Ten of Pentacles, realizing how they feel about you. And this person is very burdened and weighed down. Why are they weighed down? Because of you, <laughs> Capricorn, the devil energy, your energy. King of Pentacles, that's why. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this person knew that they should have stepped up. King of Pentacles and done the right thing, justice. Yeah, maybe this person waited. I see them burdened right now, but they're just thinking about all of this stuff. It's like, while they've been away from you, they've had time to just sit and think. 
Like, why was I so stupid? Or why didn't I express my emotions? Why didn't I show Capricorn love? What am I thinking? What's the page of cups, please? Seven of wands. Six of wands. Three of cups. This person is going to try to send you like a small message or try to communicate with you in some way. Maybe give you a, a phone call. I feel like this person is going to try to reach out. They're going to try to fight for this, fight for your attention to reconcile. Three of Cups. Show me that Eight of Cups because I feel like your back is to this person. Show me this Eight of Cups, please. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Ooh. And the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you, you waited, you thought about this person for a long time. And now you're ready to move on and possibly bury yourself into work. A lot of you are overworking. <clears throat> I feel like to get this person off of your mind, you're working very hard. I kind of got this energy for Sagittarius, so you could be dealing with the Sag for some of you, or you may have that in your chart. For others of you, I just feel like you're focused very much so. You could be in school taking classes or something. A lot of you are working out. Maybe you work from home. I'm getting that as well. Like you're busy. You have a lot of orders. You have a lot of stuff going on. Clients to deal with. Some of you work in a call center. I'm getting that very strongly as well. Whoa. Magician in reverse. Yeah. You could feel like this person is manipulative. Could be a Gemini that you're releasing or letting go or getting over. I feel like for others of you, you're over like this person's games. <laughs> You may feel like they play too many games. <clears throat> I also feel when the magician is in reverse, he has all the tools he needs, right? You may feel like this person doesn't have the tools to take care of you. When the magician is in reverse. Mm. Someone could be into spell work as well. When you get the magician in reverse, could be black magic energy. Show me this person's intentions. Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're coming in toward you. They're still very, uh-huh, King and Queen of Wands. They're still very passionate about you, very attracted to you. <clears throat> How is Capricorn feeling? Nine of Wands. See, I feel like you're just about to give up here. Yeah, Emperor. Because you want an Emperor. Harfont, yeah. You want someone who wants long term. You want someone who is able to take control of the situation. You can't play with a Capricorn. That's what they, these people don't understand. You cannot play with a Capricorn. A Capricorn is very serious about their life, about their goals, about their future. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like you're just about to give up on this person, Nine of Wands, because you don't feel like this person is capable of being this emperor. You're hoping, or maybe you had hoped, but I feel like you don't see it coming from them. Let me get a sip. <clears throat> Potential outcome for this week. The star card. The will of fortune. Someone is hoping for the future. Yeah. Queen of swords with the six of cups. Someone is hoping that they can tear that wall down uh-huh, that you have built up around you. You have a strong fortress around you because you're very strong-willed. And someone is hoping that you'll remember the love that was once there, Six of Cups. They're hoping to heal this with the star and the Wheel of Fortune, hoping to heal it in the future. Okay? Three of Wands, they're waiting for you. They're waiting. Uh-huh. It's like they're wanting to wait wait for you to, I don't want to say, I was just say this, they want you to be more easygoing, okay, and not so hard. Mm. Some of you, I don't know, I feel like you will move on from this person. I love hard, I am serious. Yeah, that could be your energy. They're saying they don't want to lose you. 
I feel like they want to tell you they are serious about you. They don't want to lose you. I talk to my friends about you. Let's get one more. And I love sex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a very passionate person with you. The sex may be very good with this person, which could have bonded you or kept you with this, this person or thinking about them. And I want you as my spouse. Yeah, this could be a reconciliation or this is what this person is hoping for. One more card. One more for Capricorn. Release your ex. Wow. The time has come to clear your energy. Passion is also at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> some of you could be releasing this person. That's what I was saying. I felt that energy of some of you could be moving on from this person. Uh, but you think about the passion or they think about it with you. And that, that is what is hard for a lot of couples to detach from is <clears throat> the good sex, the passion, which is the energy I got in Sage's reading. A lot of people find it hard to detach from that energy. But you guys, do you just want good sex or do you want good sex, a lover, a dependable partner, a father, a mother of your children, you know, a partner in crime, someone who will always be loyal, faithful, you know, who will walk with you in life. You should want it all because you can have sex with anyone. But if you want a real partner, uh, this person, they may not be it. Alrighty. Take care, Capricorns. Bye.